He shot me three times with um, a 45 caliber and then put the gun in his mouth and killed himself. This is just one of those stories where you really can't help but get emotionally invested, just hearing Stephanie tell her story and all that goes with it. Our then six-year-old daughter um, ran down the hallway, um, found my cell phone, stepped over her father's body and brought me the cell phone to call 911. I had one third of my blood left in my body when I went into surgery. I was very, very defeated. At one point, I knew that I had to set an example for my kids. I, you know, they had a whole life ahead of them. It just makes you realize what kind of recovery is next and think about that next step, not only physically, but mentally as well for her and her entire family. Well, I think first off, we need to realize that mental health is a big deal. You know, one out of five Americans have a mental health problem. And depression is the world's largest disability cause. Someone great that we talked to is Lee Richardson, who is the Brain Performance Center founder and clinical director. And we talked to her a little bit about some advice on ways to cope and move forward, as well as some signs to look out for, because Stephanie will be the first to tell you that it happens more often than we think.